Hello, welcome to Silla Vitero. So we're going to go straight into this uh, very quickly here. And we are going to ask, how is the person that you are thinking about connected with feeling about you? Okay, so that's what we're going to look at here. So let's see what's going on. How is this person feeling about my viewers at this time? How is this person feeling about my viewers? Ace of Cups, of course. Hermit Energy. Okay. Uh, so this is someone here that's reflecting. Okay. They could be a bit pulled back here. You know, um, now this is someone that I feel like still has emotions. Okay. The emotions are still there. The connection is still there. I feel like this person is more in this energy of reflecting here. So for a lot of you, you may have this inclination or, you know, this thought of, okay, well, maybe this person's not really interested, okay? Or maybe this person's not really um, wanting to come forward and express something to me here. I feel like this person's in this place here where there could be some sort of obstacles going on with them in terms of being emotionally expressive. Now, it could be an energy of being stubborn. It could be an energy of not wanting to be vulnerable to some degree here. But I feel like this connection is something that this, still per this person still has a strong desire for, okay? However, we have hermits. So, a lot of you here could be connecting with a water sign, okay, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or a Virgo here, or Capricorn as well. However, um, I just see a strong energy of someone here replaying a conversation in their head, replaying a scenario in their head here. And I feel like this is what I feel like is one of the reasons why this person's holding back. Now, another reason why this person's holding back is I know if I come forward. I know if I communicate, I know if I, you know, open up here, I know that I have to address these emotions that were once present, that is still present here. So it's something I feel like this person is fearing to address. There's something maybe that you found out about this person, or there's something here that possibly uh, took place between you two here. But I feel like someone here is really in a place where they're sort of drained. Okay, that's the energy that I'm getting. They're drained. They're not in a place where they feel like they know how to save this um, connection here. Okay, um, we also have this person here holding back, but at the same time for me holding on. It's like I'm still holding on to you. Okay, show me how my viewers are feeling about this connection. And again, take it how it resonates for you. Okay, how are my viewers feeling about this connection at this time? My viewers, please. Feeling. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yikes. So some of you may not even be talking to this person or you've decided to pull back or you decided to um, present some sort of boundaries here. Now, I feel like a lot of you are doing this in a place of, yes, I, I'm still optimistic about this person. It could be an Aquarius. I'm still optimistic about this person. Um, I'm still connected to this person, but I have to protect myself. There's a strong energy of protection as if I have to protect myself. I have to protect myself from something here that possibly took place because I don't feel like this person is understanding where I'm coming from. So a lot of you just may be in a place where you feel like this person has not been very honest with you, or you found out again, there's something here that I feel like you found out here. And it's interesting. And you know, I'm going to say this for some of you. Um, and again, take it how it resonates here. But I feel like and this could be your person. So again, take it how it resonates. But I do feel like someone here could be in the energy of also being manipulative, right? I'm using my silence to be a bit manipulative in a sense. Um, and just waiting to to see what this person is going to do or waiting to see what this person's actions are. Um, for others of you, you're genuinely in a place where you're creating these boundaries here because you're protecting your heart space, okay? And I feel like something, again, must have happened here where you're saying, okay, enough is enough, all right? I'm, I'm setting my boundaries here. Now, it may not have been, you know, um, some sort of destructive tower, but it was something enough for you to say, yes, I still love you, but I have to protect myself. I'm uh, exhausted here. Okay, so that's the vibe that we're getting here with this connection. All right, so let's get some more. Let's get some more. This person is viewing you as somebody that is extremely guarded at this time, or you decided to pull back as well. Okay, what else do you have for this connection, please? Thank you. Wow, we have sorrow here. A lot of regret and sadness. It, there's a lot of sadness in this, in this connection here. 
okay a lot of regret a lot of disappointment that's going on here and i feel like again with this energy of reflecting here someone here is really reflecting on their actions or reflecting on love here but i feel like at the same time whether it's you or this person someone here is saying i'm keeping my boundaries and i'm also keeping my distance here because i do feel like there's an energy of me in the past possibly being a bit obsessive with the situation or i was giving too much or i was doing too much and now i feel like i have to put up you know these blockages and i'm I'm going to put them down when I hear this person's genuine energy or when I hear this person wanting to come in with that energy of love here. So I see a lot of you in a place both of you are not really saying much to one another. Okay, we're both not speaking. We're both not connecting. Okay, now I feel like for some of you, this person may send you a text message. Um, and again, it's like this text message, you feel like as if the text message is a bit dry or, you, um, you know, you're, you're getting some sort of message from this person, but you don't feel like it's enough or you don't feel like it's really addressing a situation here that brought in a lot of pain for you here. So there's something going on between you two here. And I feel like, you know, everybody's protecting themselves here. Okay, what else do you have with this connection? through my dreams and vows here all right so someone here broke a vow wow so this is someone again you know the attraction is still there all right look at this great energy look at this look at this someone in in this connection whether it be you whether whether it be this person whatever it is someone here is still waiting I'm still waiting for us to reconnect. I'm still waiting for us to have that moment of intimacy again here, okay? And we also have this energy of not over, okay? This is not over. This is not the end, okay? We are having a situation. There's a gap here. There's a separation. There's something going on between you two, but I feel like there's still an energy of I'm still daydreaming about you. I'm still thinking about you, okay? Now, I feel like with this energy of sorrow here, a lot of you may be daydreaming or even wondering, is this someone I could trust again? Okay. Is this someone I could trust? Is this person someone that I feel like I could open up to? Now with this energy of waiting here, I feel like someone here is in a place where they're asking themselves, is this worth my time? right? Is this something that's worth my time? Is this something that I should invest in here? Um, because I feel like I've been waiting for this person that has been non-committal. So someone here has been a bit uh, wishy-washy, all right, or not really coming in and really speaking their true intentions. Um, however, I feel like for some of you, you may be an empath and you're able to feel the connection as they felt it as well. But I'm still waiting for you. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for this energy of you to come in and possibly speak up or speak on your emotions. And I feel like this is exactly what this person does, right? This person could be somebody that works out, someone that really cares about their appearance. They don't have to work out, but this is someone that really cares about their appearance, okay? Something about um, their image is very interesting here. However, now, one of the things that I keep getting with you and this person is a very strong soulmate connection here strong soulmate connection, past life connection, that both of you feel very strongly here, okay? So I feel like moving forward, and I will give a time frame, and I will say for the next two weeks here, this is someone here that's going to pop up out of nowhere. This is someone that wants to pop in and possibly check on you. And I feel like this person's checking in here to see if you possibly put your guard down, if you're open to trusting trusting them again or if you're open to possibly opening your heart to this person again here all right so i do see some sort of communication coming in for the two of you here tell me how this person is feeling currently about my viewers how are you feeling about my viewers thank you time okay so this is someone that's extremely patient very patient here okay this is someone here that's taking their time and for some of you i feel like this is someone that feels like yeah they'll get over it i don't know why but i just get this energy of um wow like wow you're you're cocky okay but more so just waiting and saying i'm gonna find the right time to get in 
and I know that the right time is going to be the best time. So this could be someone that knows you. This could be somebody that um, understands your patterns, okay? Because I do see this person saying, time will heal this all, okay? Time will fix this. Let's just wait. So for a lot of you, you may not be hearing from this person, and I feel like this is someone here that's waiting for the right time to come in. I'm waiting for the right time to come in. But I feel like for, and I'm telling you, some of my viewers here, it's like, I'm not for it. I, I know, I know your manipulation. You're not going to play me like a puppet. I know how you are. So some of you are just in a place where possibly this person has let you down so much that you're just aware of the cycle. So some of you won't even fall for this. All right. How, yeah, this person could have been influenced or connecting with other people. Okay. That's for some of you. How, how are my viewers feeling about this person? Thank you. Frozen again. Some of you are not talking to this person. Take that how that resonates. I'm not talking. I'm not doing anything. I don't have any words for this individual at this time. I don't have any hate or any, you know, any negative energy towards them, but I don't, I just don't feel the desire to connect with them at this time. Okay. And again, a lot of you, there could have been an incident that took place here, or it's just you feeling as if this person's not presenting themselves in a very genuine light. Okay. Give me more. Yes. Look at this bottom of the deck elusive dishonest you're not being honest i don't know if i could trust you any longer and i feel like that's one of the biggest questions in the energy right now um is i don't know if i could trust you and uh, you know again this this is someone that's saying i'm not giving up i haven't given up on us and i'm going to find the right way to come in here so the goal is to come in whether i have to lie sneak um you know come in and just ask you a random question or ask you a favor i'm going to do that but this is someone that wants you to know that you are on my mind. Okay? Additional information, please. Hoping. Yes. Hoping, hoping, hoping. And I feel like the both of you are in a place where we're both hoping that things are going to work out. I'm hoping, manifesting, right? I'm optimistic about this. And I know that this is something that's going to work out. So even, and especially with this person, and again, this could be you, take it how it resonates for you here. But I do feel like in this energy of this person being very patient and someone else here just basically not opening up and not wanting to speak, both of you are in this place or in this energy of hoping, right? It's like, I'm still optimistic. I still want to connect with you. I still desire you and I still love you. Okay, especially with the Ace of Cups here. I still love you here. Now, there is someone here that I feel like that may have had some sort of trauma in the past here. And I feel like they're feeling as if they have to protect themselves from a situation here. So again, take that how that resonates for you. Okay. All right. Let's get some more messages for my beautiful viewers. Again, if you're interested in a personal reading, all of my information is below. Also, please subscribe if this resonates with you, of course. And let's see what the messages are. What are the messages for my viewers at this time? Thank you. Secrets. Mm. I haven't told you everything. Okay. And I feel like this is what some of you may be fearing. It's like, I know that this person's keeping secrets. I know that this person's being dishonest. I know their secrets, right? Um, I know their fears. I know their mistakes right? I'm just not okay with the fact that you're not open with me. And I feel like that's what some of you may be feeling at this time. Thank you. Give me more, please. Whoa. So we're not going to get that. What else do you have for my viewers? Thank you. Sabotage, of course. Yes. Okay. So someone here is understanding that they do mess up great things that come into their lives at times. OK, um, I mess up the good things that come in my life a lot of the times. Right. I do this a lot and I'm doing this currently with you here. So someone here is acknowledging some of their behaviors as if this is not the first time they've possibly, um, you know, acted like this or possibly treated someone like this. But I feel like it's different with you. The energy is very different with you. OK, let's get some additional messages here before we go. What do we have? Thank you. What are the messages within this connection that my viewers need to know? All right. So we have, the more I push you away, the more I feel the pullback to you. Yeah. 
okay? This is someone that could have been denying the connection at some point. The grass was not greener on the other side at all. It just wasn't. Whatever I chose and whatever I, I put my time and energy in besides you and besides this connection, I realized it just wasn't worth it. It just wasn't the, it wasn't, it wasn't it. And I know I need to apologize. Take that how that resonates for you. Okay, but understand that this is someone here that understands that they owe you an apology and they did hurt you. Okay, I love you. Of course, have a beautiful evening, morning, whenever you may be watching this and be sure to subscribe if this resonates with you. Have a good one.